Spring is an exciting time of year for us gardeners and now's the time to get sowing in earnest. But before you so much as tear open a seed packet, you'll need to make sure that your soil's warm enough and that late frosts won't hamper your efforts. In this video, we share some pointers on how to warm up your soil and how to protect precious seedlings from any unexpected cold snaps. After a long cold winter, it can take a while for soil to become warm enough for sowing. Raised beds will warm up more quickly thanks to the free draining conditions within them, so if you have raised beds, start your first sowings here. Any soil can be warmed up by covering it over with black plastic, row covers or garden fleece. This technique is particularly useful for heavy or clay soils that retain a lot of moisture. Black plastic works best because dark colours absorb more sunlight, creating warmer conditions beneath. Lay the plastic over the ground at least one week before sowing and soil temperatures will rise by a couple of degrees, making all the difference for early sowings. Row covers or garden fleece can also be used to help create a warmer environment beneath them. You'll need to secure any cover firmly into place to stop it from blowing away. Either peg it down at regular intervals, U-shaped pegs are best, or weigh down the edges with rocks or bricks. Seedlings and young plants benefit enormously from some initial protection, particularly when tender plants such as tomatoes have just been planted outside or where nights are still quite cold. Cover rows of crops with clear plastic or garden fleece, drape them over recently sown beds or rows of young seedlings. Individual plants can be protected with squares of row cover cut to size or by using purpose-sold cloches such as these or make your own from clear plastic drinks bottles. Simply cut a bottle in half using sharp scissors, then place the top half over your plants. Keep the lid off on sunny days, or screw it on when cold weather is forecast. Don't discard the bottoms, these can be used too, though you might want to cut a hole into the base for ventilation. Keep your bottle cloches from blowing away by pushing them into the soil or by holding them in place with a cane like this. You can also use bottles to protect young plants by filling them with water, then surrounding plants like this. The water in the bottles absorbs heat during the day, then releases it at night, warming the air around your plants. This technique is especially effective within a greenhouse, tunnel or cold frame, where the additional warmth can help tender plants like tomatoes to quickly establish after planting out. Or fill plastic bottles with hot water on cold nights to protect vulnerable seedlings. Cluster all of your seedlings into a confined place, such as a plant house or cold frame. Now fill gallon-sized bottles with hot water and place these into the cold frame with your seedlings. Leave enough space around the bottle for the heat to escape and to avoid overheating nearby seedlings. Tightly shut the door or lid. The radiated heat from the bottle will lift the temperature inside by a few degrees. Polystyrene boxes like these ones used in fish markets make excellent seedling containers. The white walls bounce light back into the box, encouraging strong, even growth, while the insulating properties of polystyrene shield your seedlings from extreme temperature fluctuations. On a really cold night, you can simply pop the lid on or lay a sheet of glass or doubled up layer of fleece over the top. Better still, create an instant portable cold frame by slotting lengths of plastic pipe into the corners of the box like this. Now simply pull your row cover or a clear plastic sheet over the top to create an easy on, easy off roof. I hope you'll find some of these ideas useful for your own garden. Of course, if you've got other handy tips, then please share them by dropping us a comment below. We'd love to hear them. Over the next few weeks, we'll be bringing you plenty of other practical gardening ideas. So if you haven't yet subscribed, well, now's the perfect time to do so. I'll catch you next time.